If you like apples and cinnamon, you are in luck because they are the star of the show today in these great, big, fluffy muffins. I'm going to show you how to top them off with not one, but two different special toppings. So for the crumble topping, what you're going to want to have on hand is some all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, salt, and cold butter. I have already cut my butter into cubes and actually popped it in the freezer for about 15 minutes to get it really good and chilled. So into the bowl goes a scant two thirds of a cup of flour. Then we're gonna go two and a half teaspoons of both brown sugar and granulated sugar. Going in a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of fine sea salt. Give it a stir, get it good and mixed up, and in goes the cubed butter. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna break up this butter. And we're gonna keep it up until that butter starts to resemble little pea-sized pieces and the mixture feels a little bit like wet sand. You know you've worked hard enough when you can pick it up and sort of squeeze it in your hand and it stays together. The first thing we're gonna get to work on for the muffin batter is to go ahead and get our apples all nice and diced up. I am using golden delicious apples. Now, typically when you're baking, it calls for a crisp tart apple, like a honey crisp or a granny smith. But when it comes to these muffins, a softer apple really is better. So go for the softer varieties, which is typically a yellow apple. Okay guys, so I am just peeling the skin right off of these apples. I'm using my Y peeler. It is my absolute favorite for peeling round vegetables. And we're gonna need about two cups of finely diced apples. So I peeled three, let's see how far it gets us. I'm just gonna cut the apple into quarters, just cutting the pieces around the core. Now I'll just cut the apple into strips, turn those strips around and cut them into a little dice. Now it's time to make the muffin batter. You'll need a medium sized mixing bowl and a large mixing bowl. To start off in the medium sized mixing bowl, we're gonna have one and three quarter cup of all purpose flour. To that, we're also going to add some baking powder and that's gonna be two and a half teaspoons going in the bowl. And then we'll have one teaspoon each ground cinnamon and fine sea salt. Just give it a mix and that's the dry ingredients. For the wet ingredients, we're gonna start with two thirds of a cup of a light brown sugar. If you only have dark brown sugar, that's okay. You can totally use that here too. Into the bowl. To that, we're also gonna crack in two large eggs. We'll add one cup of whole milk, melted butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just whisk it all together until it's really good and combined. And now we're gonna add in our dry mix, trade out the whisk for a silicone spatula, and we're gonna fold it all together. This is the part where you wanna be really careful about over mixing, because if you overdevelop that gluten, your muffins are gonna be tough and nobody wants a tough muffin. Now, once there is a no more flour to be seen in the batter, it is done, it's good to go, and it's time to add the apples. I have about two tablespoons of flour that I've had on reserve, and I'm just gonna put this right over the apples. Now, grab a spoon and stir it all together. You just wanna get that flour to evenly coat over all those little bits of apples. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help the apples to stay suspended throughout the muffin and keep them from dropping all the way to the bottom. A light toss is really all you need. And now it's time to add the apples to the batter. Just pour them right in, just like so, and then we'll fold them in. Okay, this batter looks and smells really delicious. Now it's time to scoop it into the muffin tins. For this part, what you're gonna wanna have on hand are some muffin liners 
and some cooking spray. Now I have been around the block when it comes to making muffins and I know better than to not ensure getting them out of the pan. We'll spritz both the liners and the pan with the cooking spray. An ice cream scoop with a handle is your best friend for scooping muffin batter into the tin. We wanna fill them up about three quarters of the way full. Okay, that's one muffin tin full. I'm gonna have enough batter for about half of another muffin tin. So I'm gonna to top this batch off with that crumble topping that we made earlier and save that second batch for that cinnamon sugar topping. So just add a generous pinch right over the center of each muffin. And if you get it on the sides of the pan, that's okay. Now I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. When they feel light and springy to the touch, they're ready to come out. The muffins are ready. They are hot out of the oven. It smells amazing and it might look even better because check out this buttery, crisp, golden topping. I cannot wait to dig into these, but I'm gonna set it aside, let them cool a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how to make that second topping. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is have some melted butter ready to go. We'll set that aside and we're gonna make the cinnamon sugar topping, which is just the easiest thing in the entire world. All you need is granulated sugar, ground cinnamon, and salt. Now, to tell you the truth, I typically do not measure when I'm making a cinnamon sugar topping. I just add the cinnamon until it looks right, but rest assured, you can find all the measurements you need at theanthonykitchen.com along with both of these apple muffin recipes. We'll add the cinnamon and then just a little pinch of salt. Where there is sugar, there should be salt. Just brings out all the flavor. Just give it a good mix. Now remember, we kept a few of those muffins away from that crumble topping, and I'm gonna take them now, dip them in this melted butter. You can do the whole muffin or just the tops, whatever you like, and then you're just gonna give it a generous swirl in the cinnamon sugar. Okay, so that's it for these beauties. Let's dig in to those crumble muffins and see how we did. Now that the pan is cool enough to touch, I'll just gently take these out. You can let them cool on a wire rack or you can dig right in. And look at that. There's not enough room on the cooling rack for this muffin. I guess we'll have to try it. Let's see how we did. Mm. So the apple sort of takes a backseat to the cinnamon, but they're so buttery and they're so delicious. Just the perfect amount of sweet. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna show you how to package them up for the freezer. If you end up with leftover muffins, freeze them. Now, if you're using a container, you wanna make sure that the muffins fit snugly, but not so tight that they're squishing the muffins. Then seal it, pop it in the freezer, and eat within three months for best results. You could also freeze your muffins in a freezer-safe zip-top bag. I like to use a gallon size bag for this. Just make sure that you get all the air out and then pop them in the freezer. And again, use within three months. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to theanthonykitchen.com for hundreds of recipe ideas, as well as to our YouTube channel, The Anthony Kitchen. Don't forget to click that bell so you'll get a notification every time we post one of our weekly videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.